right, we're getting close. It's time to set up the user control panel and the settings that we're going to use for uh, the laser. Um, so you do this before you go to the laser. You should have all this set up and when you get to the laser it's one less thing to do. Laser time is valuable. You don't want to be standing there doing things you don't need to do. So let's uh, hit this button right here that says settings and when we do that we will be presented with the materials database. And in the materials database we're going to look for something that makes sense for what we're cutting and that would be natural and that would be wood and that would be in this case this doesn't make sense but it's under here medium wood and it's birch we're cutting some birch plywood and uh, our thickness of our plywood is 0.125 inches do not push enter if you push enter, you'll get kicked out of this screen and you'll have to go back into it. So don't push enter, just head over here and hit apply. Now what that's done is it's applied some settings to the laser based on what we've just selected that someone else has figured out and created a library for. So there's a library of settings and they're for all these different materials that we could be working with and we've just chosen birch. Now, what we are going to do is make some tweaks. So tweaks happen by going to the manual control right there. And in manual control, you can see what those settings have been set up to do. So all of our dots are going to get 100% laser power, 70% of the speed of the laser or its movement back and forth, and 500 pulses per inch. That's fine. The next one is these are our cut settings, the red one here. So the red one here, we have 100% power, 10% speed, and 300 pulses per inch. We're going to select that. At 10% speed, it's moving too fast for our machine and it won't cut through. We're going to slow this down. Now, 4.2 is normally good enough for our machine. Uh, as I record this today, uh, the laser actually has a crack in the lens and it's having trouble cutting through due to the lack of focus that it has. When you lack focus, you have trouble. So I'm running this today at about 2.8% to get it to actually cut through, which means the laser is going to move very slowly and spend more time trying to drill its way through, which actually also has the effect of messing with the kerf. And the whole point to this was to set up kerf compensation at 8 thou, which we did way back when. So when your laser is not tuned, then the kerf isn't precise. It's wider than it should be and then this is all out the window. So the lens is due to arrive here in a day or two and if it's back, if it's in by the time you get to the machine, well we should be running a 4.2 or something like that and you should probably check with me the day that you go to cut and make sure everything's good to go and I'll probably just tell you what the speed number is to put in here. Anyway, so I put it in at uh, today's cutting at 2.8 and which is horrible and we'll hit set. When you hit set, it changes it here, and then you can just push OK. That's the setup. The next thing you would do is carry your computer over to the machine and then run through the document that's there that walks you through setting up the machine. Ask if you have any questions. The machine is very expensive, and we don't like guesswork around expensive machines. That is all. Good luck.